Okay, back to your comments before we start the main show. Um, just looking. I appreciate what you've done, but you've insulted my intelligence with your stupidity on how to cross the border. I don't even know what that means, Steve, but thank you for appreciating what I've done. Um, and like, oh, immigrants are taking our jobs. Oh, they're coming here and they're terrorists. And if you look at the violence on the border, the governments that these people are supporting, their sheriffs, their police, their governors and their presidents from Texas to California and all the way along, they are the ones who created the violence with their walls, their restrictions, their unconstitutional immigration controls, their drug war, and their fascism. And if you support that, you are blue ISIS. You're a part of their crimes. If you support buoys letting people drown in the river, you are a part of a system that opposes liberty and God and justice and human kindness. You are a part of a system that supports fascism. If you support immigration restrictions and papers of people being locked in cages because they crossed a dumb, asinine, imaginary line in the sand that you thought made you special, you are either a criminal or you are criminally ignorant. And I'm not afraid to say it. I've never been afraid to tell you guys the truth on this channel. I've never, I got something in my eye. Maybe I finally got that fly. I've never been afraid. That's not true. Sometimes I'm afraid because it costs me. You don't see my channel being popular. You see the channels being popular that appeal to a specific faction. They're loving their neighbor. Most of the churches in Texas are loving their neighbor while supporting the police that murder the poor, lock them in prisons, and drown them in rivers. That's our churches. If we had a church of Christ, they would be on the river pushing the border patrol into it while they reached a hand to the immigrant trying to cross over and that would be how they show Christ. It's literally in the Bible. Even in the Old Testament, he said, you treat the foreigner as if they were a citizen. He didn't, after that, put, but only if they have papers. Because if they're an undocumented immigrant, they're probably going to take your jobs. It's absolutely ridiculous what we've come to and what people do in the name of God. And that hurts. And I, I but I feel like it's like the, when, when Jesus told the parable about, you know, when, when someone comes to you and says they're hungry and you say, go in peace, be you warm and full. But you did nothing for them. And that's what I see happening all over the world. So, yeah, I mean, I know that I have a, I have a problem in that I, I feel a lot. Nothing wrong with helping others and following some immigration, but a flood, but not a flood. No, there's no flood. There's no one giving up their house. There's, this is literally bull crap that you're watching on the news from terrorist police and politicians who are literally coming to steal your house if you don't pay taxes on what your family paid for 50 years ago. Do you, do you hear how stupid you sound? I'm sorry because I am compassionate for your stupidity also. But do you hear how absolutely ignorant you sound when you say this stuff? Nothing wrong with helping others, but when immigrants are flooding us, you be the first one to give up your house. Do you know how many years I've heard this absolute rubbish and it's never happened? It's never the case. They're never taking your jobs. They're never taking your houses. It's never real. The government is creating the crime and the government is making sure that the hardworking good souls that would be your neighbors are the ones that can't come in because the government is not stopping the, the, the real criminals from coming in. The, the cartels who are working with the CIA, who are working with your governors and presidents to traffic drugs for money and the gangs and traffic arms and all this kind of stuff that they're actually throwing you in news as, as what people are doing. Those are the people they're actually allowing to do their business as long as they give them a cut. And I just can't believe how 
ignorant. And I don't care if you live on the border. I don't care if you claim you see firsthand. What you see firsthand is a government that created an artificial drug war, a government that created unconstitutional immigration restrictions, a government that created a violent, toxic situation where people are fleeing across the border, where criminals are coming in trying to avoid the government, and the normal people that want to do it right are suffering, and you're participating in it because you're so ignorant and godless and foolish that you can't sit down and look at a Bible or look at your neighbor and say, you know what, I'm supposed to care about people and I'm sick of it. I'm tired of seeing it. I'm tired of the excuses. I'm tired of the endless repetitive propaganda. No, you didn't come up with it. No, you don't know it because you're there and because you live on the border. You are saying it because it's being fed into your sheep, soft, supple brain, and you're too ignorant to get over your racism, your hypocrisy, and your hate for your fellow man. That's the problem. You don't love your neighbor. You don't want to be like Christ. You don't want to be kind. You don't want freedom. You want to be on the top of the heap with the poor people sitting underneath you. And that's the problem. No one's asking you to give up your home. No one's asking you to allow people to violate your property, your family, or rob your house. The problems at that border did not exist that you're talking about right now, those who live in Texas, those who I live on the border. And I see these kind of crap hole propaganda videos all the time from people like, we have a ranch on the border, we see this. I know some of those kind of ranchers. They're people that have money, they have 10,000 acres. They, they ride around in their fancy cars and their Lexuses. Are those even fancy anymore? And they're like, oh, well, we gotta support our local sheriffs because the immigration, it's just really bad. No, immigration is not bad. Immigration is a human right period, and you don't have to have papers for it. What caused all of this is the fear-mongering racism propaganda that you're promoting when you repeat this stuff, when you're ignorant enough to not wake up and say, wait a minute, I'm just repeating what talking heads, politicians, governors, and robbing, thieving, lying, crooked police that will literally come and kill me and steal my home and sell it to someone else if I don't pay them to own it. Can you hear yourselves? And you're looking at a poor immigrant wearing rags, crossing the river with his three kids, and you have the blasted audacity to say, they need to follow the rules. They're invading my country. They're creating violence. Go to hell. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the ignorance. And I know we're all in different places. And I know I rant sometimes. And I see a comment sometimes and I go off on you. But it's not about any one person. It's about all of us collectively waking up and, and stop. I, I, I know I was dumb too. And in some ways I probably still am. We're humans. We're ignorant. We're easily led astray. But this is ridiculous, you guys. When you look, if you want to talk about borders and immigration, when you look at Texas, when you look at the absolute psychopaths running that state, the absolute psychopaths of police, and when I see people in here and they're supporting the border patrol, they're supporting agents down there, pointing guns at poor people, because what? They want to come and work? Are you out of your mind? Send your community. Send your peacekeepers to stop actual crime. If someone's raiding your ranch, yeah, go send them to arrest those people. But until you can get your head out of your behind, I don't, I don't want to be vulgar here, so we'll put it nicely. Just stop. Just shut up. It doesn't matter that you live on the border. You're not special. What you're seeing is what you created by supporting the fascist goons that you put in office because you thought you were better than your fellow man. And I'm speaking generally, I know. I know everybody on the border doesn't feel this way. I know that all Texans aren't bad. I understand that. But I'm going to call it like I see it. And excuse the rant. I just have got this for so many years. I've literally dug it up back to the original founding arguments. It's absolutely illegal in the United States under the Constitution to have any form of immigration restriction. The founding fathers were outraged by the idea that you even had to register. 
That's how far they went. And I see people waving flags and saying, I support the Constitution, while they're literally supporting the drowning of children in a river because they're afraid of the propaganda that a blue ISIS politician pushed into their soft brain. That takes an incredible amount of ignorance and a lack of love. And so I'm sorry if I got a little too loud with that one.